Hello YouTube, and I've got a, um, this is a little light I bought for my son, for a little reading light that goes on his bed, and it's crap. It's brand new, only been used for like literally 20 minutes, and it's, well, it's either broken or it's just poorly designed. So it's a little touch light, so you touch it here, and the light comes on, see, light is on, but, oh, it turns on now, it turns off, it wasn't turning off. Oh, there you go. Notice how it doesn't and does turn off. You straight your finger and it doesn't turn off. It's yeah. Anyway, it's a bit shit. So what I was going to do is disable the touch centers of it and fit a toggle switch here instead. Just so it's uh, actually usable by a six-year-old and not this. I mean, also the other thing is it's so wobbly that when you touch it, you, you, you move the... You move the Oh, it's just crap, isn't it? I mean, imagine a six-year-old trying to turn it on and off. Daddy, my light moved. Well, of course it did, because it's shit. Anyway, I'm getting rambling now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to disable the touchness of this and uh, fit a proper switch. So, I've taken the uh, end off that, which means that should all ping out, and there's a spring in it, so I'm going to have to compress the spring and then get this pin out so I can get to it, which means putting it back could be quite fun, but yeah, we'll deal with that when we get to it. Right, here we go. Ta-da, one end off. That wasn't too bad in the end because the spring isn't actually that compressed. So just pull the pin out and then just very slowly release that and I think it should be okay. So there's the end off. I've just got to work out how to get this rubber bit out now because uh, what I'm going to do is fit this switch here in there. Where the rubber bit is sort of there-ish. That's the plan. A little bit of soldering and wiring cutting later. I've got a switch on the front now. And all I've really done is just tapped into where the power comes in, fitted the switch here. Again, loads of room in the locking jaw mechanism to go around a headboard or something. And what I might do is cut them pins uh, inside a little bit shorter so it doesn't scratch. Or put some tape over them or something, but that should be fine. And now, with that switch on, the light works. Oh no, that's the off position. Off, on, that light. And as I switch that off, you should see, do it this way. Bing! So that works. So all I've got to do now is make the head always on. Let's take that off. So I think the um, this glass, this plastic, not glass, it's cheap and nasty. This plastic diffuser comes off, so get a screwdriver and then just pop it off. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Yep, yeah, that just unclipped. And one screw holding the board in. Right, let's take that screw out. Well, this could be easy. I've already seen what we can do anyway. So what we've got, board of LEDs on it. Uh, I don't know if there's any current limiting on there. And see what I initially thought was putting the negative from there into negative and there, that should light, but is there any current limiting going on it? Uh, that's probably the IC there that's got the touch sensor on it. There's a voltage regulator, I assume. Because uh, that is that transistor there is literally switching to ground, isn't it? Looking at that, let me zoom in. So ground, you have the ground plane here. Obviously positive goes all the way around, positive with LEDs. And then we've got diode, ground, regulator. Uh, go to ground, output the regulator to this IC here. And that is switching this transistor straight to ground. So I think it literally is taking the LED straight to ground, which is a bit of a poor design. So we could just put that point onto ground, but I might just stick a resistor in place. Let's measure the current on that and see what current we're drawing. Actually, I'll put the voltmeter across it and see what voltage and see if we get silly volts, which I'm assuming is what we are. Yep, measuring that, we're getting 12 volts here. So 12 volts the input, 12 volts the output. So that switch, that transistor is switching it straight to ground. There's no current limiting resistor. So I think we should really add one in. Um, I'll do some maths, let's have a think about this. All right, one 2.7 ohm resistor. I'm gonna do some maths now. I'm gonna put that in line with the LED. 2.8 ohms, cool it. 2.7. So that LED is in series, that LED, that resistor is now in series the LED. Maybe not. It's getting a little bit warm. 
drop in 0.86 volts. So let's do a bit of Ohm's law and work out power. All right, so that's what we've got. 0.86 millivolts, uh, 2.7 ohms. So we've got a power of 320-ish milliamps and a quarter of a watt. That is a quarter of a watt LED, so that's not good enough. So I want to put in a 2 watt LED, not 2 watt, 2 of them in, in parallel. Um, I know what I mean. Uh, I need some more math, so that'd be 4.5 <gasps> ohms. 5 ohms. We get two 5 ohm LEDs. Quarter watt, let's see if we've got any. Right, so I've made a 3.3 .3 ohm resistor using four 10 ohm resistors. Obviously not quite 10 ohms each, that's why I've got a 3.3, .3 because, you know, tolerances. And I'm measuring the voltage drop of that of 0.798, which gives me a power draw of, oh, it's disappeared. Of 190 milliwatts. Bear in mind these are quarter watt resistors. That will be absolutely fine. They shouldn't even get warm. In fact, they're not. And the light is a little bit dimmer, which is perfect for reading at night. And you've got a switch. Turn it on and off. So what we've got to do now is basically uh, trim this up, make this look pretty, stick it in here, and uh, put it back in his bedroom. All done. And there we go, there's the finished thing. So now this touch sensory thing rubbish doesn't work at all because it's crap. And we have a switch. Turn it on, off, on, off, on, off. How light should work. Simple. Well, hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, then thank you. And if you didn't, then uh, well, I'm sorry for wasting your time. But for now, I'll leave it there and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.